Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy IX Blind. This is part 42. In the last episode, we were here in Madain Sari, um, which is the village that Aiko lives in. Seems pretty uninhabited, except for the Moogles that she lives with. And the only reason we're out of the village right now is because I came out here to save. But while I was out here, I noticed that this area is called Lucid Plains, which I think is just such a beautiful name. I just needed to point that out to you guys. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's cool. Alright, so let's get back in here. There's a lot of story stuff that I think may be coming up soon. I just got an inkling that that's what will happen. Not an inkling like Splatoon, but like an inkling. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know, I'm excited to get to it. What a dump. Must have been like this for at least 10 years. What can Aiko possibly feed us? And man, we got active times right off the bat. Here's Aiko. <laughs> Thanks for cleaning! You guys did a great job. Here's that theme again. Um, th this really does sound a lot like Vivi's theme. Like it has like the like laid back kind of like cute guitar thing going on. And like if you listen to the two like right next to each other, very similar. Um, a clean house worthy of hosting my hero Zidane. Oh, seems like she's got a little crush. Here's where the challenge begins. I don't think Zidane and Dagger are dating yet. Been slow to catch on to Zidane's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. Gonna cook lots of yummy food and show him what a good homemaker I am, okay? You know, Aiko probably hasn't had people over in a really long time. So, it kinda maybe it makes sense that she just wants to schmooze the guy and, and seem like she's doing good. Might work if you cook good food. But Aiko screws up a lot when she cooks. Didn't have much food in stock right now. <laughs> Mocha says no. Kupopo. I'm sleepy. Freaking Momotos. You're all gonna help! Gonna cook my specialty. Rock fisted potato stew, huh? Is that a, a picture of what it should look like? That's delicious. Last one you made tasted so bad I thought my pom pom would fall off. I think I need another dish. How about fish? Fish is good. Fresh fish when barbecued. Tastes great. And there's that. <laughs> okay, what, what what is the point of this? That sounds good. Rock fisted potato stew and barbecued fish. Does uh, Fenrir help out with rock fisted potato stew because that thing has quite the rock fist. Let's see. Um, because Mocha was so against going, doing anything to help, we're gonna have them go fishing. Kupo, and we'll send Momotos to dig up potatoes, and Chimomo will help in the kitchen. Alright, um, sure, like, alright, <laughs> was there something, like, I needed to know for this? Grandpa, I don't want to be alone anymore, help me do this right. Yeah, she probably just wants people to stick around. Must get lonely out here in the dunes. Alright, I'm a little tired. Okay, um... I know Vivi went off somewhere. Let's see, is this a Libra? Oh man, this is a uh, a card thing, right? I can't remember what these are called. Uh, Stelazio, that's right. Libra was a perverse fellow. Okay, he would always walk in the opposite direction of the sun. Would he ever see Virgo? Here's Virgo. Watching his sun. Maybe Virgo's wish is to be with Libra. I don't know. I feel like I've quite missed some Stelazio already, and I'm not going to get a full idea of their story. Here's Vivi. What's up? Something wrong? I was just thinking. Try not to think too much. Get some rest. Thanks, Zidane. Okay. That's kind of cute. Zidane's always looking out for Vivi. He, like, obviously with the scene that we saw in uh, in the Black Mage Village. He knows how Vivi is feeling right now. 
So, and sometimes it is good, you know, just if there's a lot on your mind, take your mind off that stuff for a little bit. When you come back to it, it might seem like a much smaller issue than it actually is. A village of summoners. I read about them in a book once. A tribe that possesses the power to call forth Eidolons. But Garnet has that power too. Didn't bring me any joy. Yeah, I guess it kind of it kind of sucks that we did have that power, because stupid evil mama killed a lot of people using that. I thought I would kill my idolins if Kuja was going to use them for war. Now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Guess we can just try to get them back, and we'll use those to fight back against Kuja. Place feels so familiar to me. Like Gar, there's got to be something that has to do with Garnet here. I gotta figure. I know there's more. Like, there's more to her. Ooh. Lady Aiko says the food will be ready soon. Take it to the Idolin Wall. Okay. Can't go in here, Koopo. <laughs> Mog is very adamant. Okay, all right. Good job guarding the post, buddy. The Idolin Wall, huh? Like, there's got to be something that has to do with Garnet in this place. We know that there's some weird backstory to her past. We saw it in the beginning. Give it to me. I'm ready. I'm ready to hear what it is. We're probably about halfway through the game at this point. How many people do I need to cook for? Me and Zidane. That quiet boy. And maybe Dagger if we have leftovers. And Mog, Moko, Mocha, Chimomo, Momotos, and Morrison. I guess those are all her little friends. Put water on the water on for all the people I listed. I'll get the ingredients. Okay. So we need. Oh snap! All right. What was it? It was. So, okay. <laughs> Aiko, Zidane, Garnet, Vivi, Dagger, maybe. Um, and then it was Mog, Mo, Mo, Mocha, Chimomo, Momotos, and Morrison. Eleven people? I think so. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, lots and lots of nuts. Should I put that in the oglop? <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? Throw in a little protein. <laughs> no one will know the difference. It'll boil down. Get the water going. A good shake of salt. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, another shake of salt. Yay, lots and lots of nuts. An oglop for the seasoning. I caught one. Okay. It's heavy. Um, oh, it's a fish. Uh, let's let him cook, and we'll get it. We want to get the best, biggest fish we can. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> that was a big fish, huh? Very familiar big fish. Looks like someone was a little, got a little too ambitious looking for food. Now we're gonna have to set the table for one more, I think. But I guess we'll see what happens with that when we get to it. That Moogle called... It's called Moko. We accounted for him, right? I think I called him Momo, but whatever. I'm pretty sure I had him. Moko was very proud of his role as the Eidolon Wall Guard. Decision... Yep, okay. We Moogles love Aiko. He'll understand. Um... Okay, but yeah, tell me about the summoner tribe. Gonna get Dagger, she can use summon magic. There might be an Eidolon here for us to, like, encounter. Let's go get the Garn. Wasn't she, like, right here? No. Oh, she went down this way in the, in the ATE. There she is. Come with me, I'll show you something big. Summon magic stuff. Alright, should we bring VV2? Go on a little class field trip? Probably not. What about you? Oh, that's Moko. 
Aiko and her people protected the wall for generations. We Moogles also help Aiko. Don't mess it up! I'm gonna tag it. Zidane was here with W-U-Z, because that's the only way to do it. Where are the other people? I can't tell you. Oh, man. Well, something must have happened to him. I'm, I can't guess it was something good. Please come in. The Eidolon Wall. Okay. This looks like some cave paintings. Clan of the Cave Bear, man. The Eidolon Wall is a collection of paintings. The Summoner Tribe painted all the Eidolons they found during their research. They all exist. Kupo. Is that a yes? <laughs> this is a holy place for the Summoner Tribe. Eiko comes here every day to pray and burn incense for her ancestors. Oh. There's Atomos. She knows that one. Is Atomos the one that, that destroyed the city? Um, Lindblom? Bahamut. Everyone knows him. What's wrong, Dagger? I... I'll get it back. Did she have him? At one point? I want to look at the murals some more. That one does look like uh, Bahamut. Is that Ramu? What do you gotta say, buddy? Summoner Tribe honors nature. They named this world Gaia. Okay. They consider the Eidolons guardians of this planet. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. Migrated to this location 500 years ago. But now, I conveniently am trailing off right when I needed to keep talking. I don't know most of these Eidolons. Huh. So is Garnet part of the Summoner Tribe, or how did she get her Eidolon powers? If Braun doesn't have them, then that maybe makes the case for, like, was Braun ever, like, is she even Garnet's mom? Maybe Garnet just got ganked. That would kind of be tragic. I don't know. <laughs> That's too much to take in. You take me back to kitchen fun. You use good bait. Pale, white hair, strange clothes. Zidane told me about you. You're Kuja! Oh my god. Zidane looked for a man named Kuja. I called Queena. Oh, yeah. You saw this! Like, Aiko saw Queena. How could she forget? I'm Aiko. Here we got a world class chef to help with dinner. Mog, don't ever come out while she's around. Chihi. Kubo! Smell good. Here's who you need in the kitchen. The heat too low. Is my destiny to pursue Way of Gourmand? Um, yeah, we're gonna ask Queena for advice. I know how many people live in this village. Is, uh, yep, 11. No. It was 11 without you, wasn't it? It's a good amount. Heat only strong enough to make food for nine people. Oh, okay. No! <laughs> this is kind of cute. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guest's very hungry. Correct to make food for more than ten people. <laughs> now, I guess rock fisted potatoes are the type. Not how you would prepare them. Now, with the heat, how we get more heat. Don't, like... <laughs> Vivi can help us. He's got fire. Very interested in, in seeing how this dinner pays off. Um, is Garnet still in here? Yeah, we already heard this. I already heard this! Time to go back to the village now. I guess Aiko probably holds the answers to all the questions that we have right now. So maybe we just gotta wait for this dinner thing to be over and, and happening. We can start picking her brain. I'm gonna... Okay, yes, I know. Kupopo. Oh, can we go in? Looks good. 
It's another area. I thought this was gonna be the kitchen. Oh, there's Aiko. Welcome, Zidane. Have a seat. You made a lot. Oh, there's the stew on the thing. Queena helped me. <laughs> Showing some uh, self-restraint. Vivi stoked the flames. Let's eat. I want that treasure chest. How is it? Stew tastes good. Fish tastes good. All good. Good so far. Where are all the other summoners? <laughs> They're all underground, sleeping the eternal sleep. Here's more death stuff, which I'm sure Vivi is again just gonna get more on his brain. Aiko is the last survivor, you know, I sort of figured that. Since my her grandpa was the last one other than her and he died last year. Sorry. Don't worry about me, I'm really happy here. Oh, there's a little Moogle up in the window too. Ten years ago, which is four years before I was born. So she's six? Wow. <coughs> she like, I get that a lot of our characters in this game are young, but now that can't be. Four years before she was born was ten years ago. She must. <laughs> okay. A natural disaster struck the village. Even the survivors suffered a great deal. Mom and Dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they look like because they died when I was very young. <laughs> There's something in here with feelers. Uh oh, Vivi got the oglob. An oglob? Oglops are a delicacy. <laughs> Let's eat the fish, yeah. Thank you. Hmm, don't you want to eat my food every day? There's some other stuff I want to ask you. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, she didn't like that. Help me clear the table, okay? I'm gonna take this tre treasure chest first. Hope you don't mind, I guess it's just an ore. Was there something else? Oh, there's the, uh, I guess that's how we get the pot. Alright, can I talk to Dagger? So many old books here. Woo! I think this one is Lord Avon's Wishing Upon a Star. To meet you, my- okay. Dagger would know that, right? She's a fan of Avon's plays. This is the first edition! I've only ever seen one at the castle library. She owns books that are more than 500 years old. Wow. I guess the summoner tribe must be old. They named the planet after all, so one would figure. It wasn't just Dagger. Zidane is really slow too. Those two are going nowhere fast. <laughs> Alright, here's your pot. Is there something on my face? <laughs> what? Oh, the pot. I thought she meant the thing on her face. Do you know about anything about the Aoife tree? What about it? You wanna go there? It's sealed with an Eidolon and you can't get in. <laughs> so Aiko sealed it? They sealed an Eidolon that we failed to summon in the Aoife tree. It's our custom to seal a failed Eidolon where we summon it. Okay. What do you have to say about all this? Buddy, you ran off on us. We could've used you, huh? Person keeps tired, you. I made great discovery. These fish different from mist continent fish? Huh. Okay. Will you break the seal? <laughs> hey, we got another Eidolon that Garnet will be able to summon. This is quite a kitchen area here. I really like this little scene. Got the waterfall and the openness of it all. You won't do it? Any more to that? Guess not. Well, we gotta go there, right? Coo that's where Kuja flew off to. That was what, in a couple episodes ago, I was like, yo, why do we need to go to the to the Aoife tree again? But it's because Kuja flew there. You should get some sleep before you go. Okay. I'm not going to be object to that.
Use Vivi again. Better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. I know you told me not to think too much. Hmm. You don't have to do everything my way. I don't want to feel like this anymore. With all the problems in this world, there'd be more answers. But that's just the way things are, man. The choice is yours. Whatever you choose to do, you gotta do it 100%. That's the, that's the way it goes, man. I just want to protect the people I'm with. Doesn't matter whether I can or not, it's what I believe in. <laughs> okay, you either do or you don't. My choice is clear, I wanna go with Zidane. Wanna know a trick to get things off your mind? <laughs> it's an age old ritual between the best of bros. Let's go. What are they peeing off the balcony? <laughs> okay. But you know what? Sometimes it does work. I always find that in the bathroom or sometimes when I make some of my most important life decisions, especially if there's a mirror, come back to wash your hands from taking a whiz and you look up at the mirror and you're like, Where? are you okay right now? And you wonder about about how things are going, man. I want to come back here. When I first saw the Eidolon Wall, I was scared. But when I went inside and saw the murals, they calmed me. It was a cool looking place. I would have liked to be able to get like a full panorama view of what it looked like. If it was if I was here on a tourist attraction, I would have taken a pano. Um, and it probably would have ended up crappy. And someone would have walked in the way and their head would have been all weird looking. I don't know. <laughs> First world problems, dude. Come back after we check out the Aoife tree. Maybe we can have another uh, meal from Aiko. Gotta come back and get Queena anyway. We can't just leave him here. Are you coming back here for Aiko? She's six. She acts tough, but I think she's lonely. We should take her with us. I haven't seen her today. You're right. There she is. A Aiko. Tee hee. Can't break the seal of the Aoife tree. <laughs> I just got it Leafa tree again without calling an Idolin. Don't you want me to? <laughs> All right. The Aoife tree is beyond the Confetti mountain range. I know where it is. All right, so Aiko <laughs> with quite the energy officially joins the party. Why are you so nice to everyone, Zidane? What do you mean by that? Just being nice, man. You don't always gotta have a reason. I think she was mad. <laughs> Please look after Lady Aiko. Come see if, if there if come see us if there's any trouble. Wait, so is Queena not coming with us? Why is why is he staying here? Vivi, have you figured out a solution to your problem? No. But I'm moving on. Sometimes the solution will come as long as you just keep doing something. I like it. That was a very character-driven uh, little rest stop we had. We didn't learn too much about the story, other than that um, Aiko is part of the Summoner Tribe, and that there's a little bit to do about Eidolons. Um, they're all, all the Summoners are gone now, but we got some good uh, character interactions there, so I like that. Uh, and that is actually going to round off our episode for today, so in the next one, We'll head back to spooky-ass, never-ending story tree, and maybe see if we can do something about that Eidolon, and confirm whether or not Kuja actually is there. Till then, guys, I've been Snack Attack 8. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Later!